I thought that we showed a lot of poise and perhaps because we'd been in a situation like that against Wright State and also against Detroit, I thought that we handled that really well. Um, you know, we just talked about finishing and being able to make this push at the end of the game and playing against a team that doesn't have a lot of experience in winning, um, it, it becomes a mindset also. I think our kids thought we weren't going to lose that game and, and that that's really valuable. And I think that what we're seeing now with Shanita, uh, what a what a unique situation. She came in and she was playing behind the player, or not playing behind, but playing with the player that broke all the scoring records here at Cleveland State. And so she was able to be a, um, I don't know, like backup singer, so to speak, and um, didn't have to carry the load. And I wondered how she would transition, you know, this year into being our primary scorer and she definitely you know early on you could see our scoring leaders each game switched quite a bit um, but now I feel like Shanita you can see every game that she is trying to score for us. Well this is a really important week for us and I think that our kids have responded well to um, putting them in situations and being in situations where uh, we really need to to have a great weekend. Um, we have you know, going on the road against Detroit and Wright State, I thought that we competed very well and, and swept that road trip, which has kind of been the start of some momentum for us. Um, it actually, it started the weekend before that. But um, I think here coming in, we, we understand what's at stake. We understand that um, seeding is important in the Horizon League tournament, and we you know want to get the best seed that we can. And um, the nice thing about this situation is that we hold our – uh, destiny in our own hands. Loyola is a very fundamentally sound team, uh, very very good shooters. They they have legitimately five or six players who can shoot the three on a consistent basis. They have one tremendous scorer on the perimeter that scores more ways than just shooting the ball. Um, you know, as, as far as getting to the basket, driving, um, transition, pull up jump shots, three point shots. Uh, we, we just have to be prepared to to buckle down defensively. UIC, after that, we haven't really started to prepare for them, like to take them one game at a time, but certainly a, a game that we didn't win last time when we were at UIC, athletic and play hard and fast and have tremendous athletes and jump shooters and penetrators, and we're going to have to be very good both offensively and defensively against UIC, I think. It just speaks for itself. We've got to play really well this weekend and can find ourselves in an excellent position going into the Horizon League tournament.